push the button. <laughs> but just a little bit back to speak. So for following me around here, last year I uh, won an award for top sales in the middle of the So they're following me around and new inspection here. New inspection, kind of taking a look, see if you have damage or you yeah. don't. Uh, so what we kind of do is we start off on the left corner. I, I look at your house as if I was the insurance adjuster in your house. Yeah. So I'll start with the left corner. I'll do a complete walk around your house, look for anything that is collateral damage or any damage that's subject to like that. Sure. Take pictures, things like that. Once we're done on the exterior, we'll you, pop up on top of the You guys did, you yep. did everything from October, it's last October. Oh, so it's from brand me. new. Yeah. So yes. it's cool. So yeah. yeah, so hopefully nothing. Yeah, that's all pop up on I just top saw of the there. guy's truck over there when I was like, oh, coming back from a walk. And I just said, hey, can somebody stop by? Oh, whatever. perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's a little information no, about it. I, I still got your stuff. You still have all, you have everything, man. Yeah, yeah no. All right, that's cool. I'm good. So give me about maybe 10, 15 minutes doing the walk around, maybe sure. 10 minutes up on top of the roof. Come back down, let you know if there's anything that's changed. Sure. We've kind of been hitting the mitts out here, to be honest well, with you. Yeah, because. Craig's right? had pretty good damage. Yeah. Good. I mean, they got just, roof siding, everything to take care of. But we did yeah. a roof six years ago. Yeah. And Judy Pago, which is right down here on Helen Street, yeah. her roof was last year and hers got approved. But the one across the street. Not quite as much. Didn't have as much damage. So it's kind of been hit so or yeah. miss. No, we had we had so, definitely had the hail. I mean, that was one little hit. Yeah. And, and a lot of it's directional and things like that. So. Well, it was, it was coming like this. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So give me about maybe 10, 15 minutes. We'll walk around and then I'll bother you. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler. Sure. I'm All just right? out here and there. Yeah, Somewhere in the yard. I'm just going to Thank you, Dennis. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Yep. Already has one. <laughs> so uh, Reed, who's our general manager, he was out at this property last time. And we put this roof on in October. So what we're doing is we're doing a property inspection from the hill we just got and see if he has any additional damage that may have occurred after that hailstorm. So we're going to do an exterior inspection then we're going to inspect the roof on the top take a look at that and see if uh, it's worth claim worthy or not yeah you want me to hold this because your mic's still on yeah and so just so you guys know we're doing a couple lives today but the longer version of this video is going to be incredible we've already been to a couple uh Appointments with Dan. He's already closed two deals this morning. It's like 9:30. So, I mean, he's already helped two homeowners. I, I hate putting it like it's like. I mean, you, you're incredible. He doesn't, he doesn't make it feel like it's fun. It's yeah. fun. All right. So first thing we do is we start with the left corner. So we're gonna go to the left corner over here. I've got a little soap sheet that I write anything that I notice damage. Just a uh, heads up. Mine doesn't. You know, obviously the mics aren't connected. So. Yep. So, and I know the steel storm came in from that direction here. And something I already noticed right here as I'm walking around, because my eyes stare at this. You see that downspout? Look up that downspout. You see that down right there. You see that? Well, see where that thing is across? Focus on this one. Right there. Where that strap is across, come down 12 inches, right on the right hand side, you see that dent? Yeah. So this was just somebody walking up to you while you were at an existing appointment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were at an existing appointment, they walked up. We did their roof uh, back in October, so it's not even been a year. And they requested us to take an inspection after the hailstorm that just arrived to yep. make sure there's no issues. Now I'm gonna show you something, Tim, that I saw you take a picture of. Yeah. I'm gonna show you something. This right here is not hail. Really? And you know how you can tell this is not hail. You see how it's yeah. creased right through here? Yeah. Hailstorms normally don't crease your downspouts. If you look here on these pictures, you see how you see the dent inside that picture? And it's not creased through or a line or a scratch. 
That's how you tell something that's mechanical and something that's actual hail. Mm. You learn something every day. And I mean, if you come in with the, you know, with something to an adjuster or the homeowner and then they know it's not hail, mm -hmm. then and that. You lose your integrity. Yep. That's why I get over a 95 plus percent rate on approvals is because I go through it knowing the knowledge of how to get these things approved. And if I go in there and I meet that adjuster and I explain to them, this is hail on this side, this isn't hail, this is why, they know that I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. What I'm looking at here is I'm looking at the bottom pan of the gutter, because that shows a lot of times with the hail. It depends on the lighting it is. Worst case, we can see the lips on the top of the, the gutter up top here. And you're tall enough, you might be able to reach right up there and see that, Tim, but some of us short guys aren't able to do that. <laughs> This this appointment wasn't as cold as I oh, thought I when I made the title. Oh, that's hail? Yep. My God. All the hostas. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was a little colder. What's that? Oh, I think we're good. Did you hear that noise? Uh-uh. That was a dog or something? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? Not on this, when uh -huh. I the pizza hut. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yes, sir. Dennis, is there anything that you noticed that was damaged out here? No, I just, I don't like to get up on the roof anymore. So. I got that. Hey, you shouldn't have to. <laughs> you know, the one thing. The screens have a lot, are a lot looser, huh? Uh, it, it came in, it was blowing more on this side here. Yep. Yeah. See how loose those screens are? A lot of times what happens is that the, the, when the hail hits them, basically it loosens up the screen. See that a lot. That was our worst damage. No crease. <laughs> you know, the one thing I noticed yeah. earlier in the summer, when you get a really heavy rainfall, okay. right there, about midway, yeah. come over the top. Yeah. And I don't know if there's just a bunch of crap in there, but I, after, I had my son go up there last week after all the Everything was done. Yeah. He cleaned everything out. Maybe that was probably the This one just might not be as good for this, but it's going to turn it off. Maybe you can if you want. Well, let's go pop a ladder up and let's go take a look. They screwed us in hell, too. You know, I'll yeah. make we'll a couple of these. Take a look. Like yeah, it's kind of been 50 50. I've gone uh, up on Helen Court, Dave Bergman, and a bunch of homeowners up there. Yeah. He had damage, but Beth and Beth Scarts had damage, but across the street on a charcoal roof I found three hits total. Huh. So all right. Well I'd rather have you find nothing. Well I hear you. Well <laughs> it's either there or it's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now being that it's this brand new of a house. Really yeah. Good shot there's nothing, but you never know until you get up there. You know? Yeah. It's giving them the confidence if they if it if it's not appropriate, it's not it's not claim worthy. Yeah, it's not As of right now, some downfall things and downfalls, it's not worth your deductible. Right? Yeah, but we'll see what we got up on top of the roof. Yeah, and that's how you keep that's how you keep customers for life because you're honest with them, you build the integrity, and they will keep having you come back. Let's go. Let's go look. 
trusty chalk. So what I'm looking here is I'm looking at the lips of the gutters. See if there's dents anything on the lips of the gutters. Yeah. Not extensive, but there's some dents you can see. Not extensive. Again, these roofs are only not even a year old. You know what I mean? Yep. And then you go all your metal. Some dents on this side, some good ones. Hey, Dennis! You got a better pod? Might have to wave them down. The next thing you do is you look at your ridge in your shingles, okay? And you look for the soft bruising. Now, we know the hail, the hit out here, we know was nickel sized hail, and it came with some good winds. And the winds came from that direction. So you're going to, probably your worst slope is going to be probably your west facing slope. Hmm. So that's where you go first then? That's the first thing I go to. You can see some hits here. Some of it's foot fault, some of it's not. What you're looking for is you're looking for an actual bruise in the mat of the shingle. Yep. Where it basically embeds those granules into that shingle. And it basically feels like a grapefruit that's been sitting on your, on your counter for a while where it's nice and sm soft and smushy. <laughs> I still can't figure out the difference between foot faults and hail hits. Usually personally. insurance companies don't like like looking at anything this or lower because that's foot faults. See? Yeah, but then what about that? That's a scuff. See how that's not a hail? Okay. See how it looks just like this? Yeah. That's not hail. Hail's going to look more like... See if I can find one. And I know that this is basic information for most roofers, but I still can't figure it out. No, no. And that's why you have a roofer out here with the, with the contractor and with the adjusters. Yeah. Because a roofer is going to know what he's looking for. Yeah, exactly. Like if I'm a homeowner and I come, if, if I didn't mind coming up on my roof, yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference usually. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out, but I still don't. And I've been, I've been like following people like at least five, ten oh, times. And sometimes you get up on houses that are completely smashed. And then sometimes you get on roofs where it's, there's not a lot. You know, are like, you feeling like it's not a lot right now? Right now I'm feeling like there's not a lot. Okay. No. What I'm looking for is I'm looking, especially depending on an insurance company, they usually need anywhere from five to nine in a 10 foot by 10 foot area. And they actually need impact hits, actually hail damage to the roof. So like initial guess here is that that's not gonna be the case. Initial guess is that's not gonna be the case. Okay. And then you just keep on making sure I do. you do, I do, I do due over. diligence. I do a due diligence. I give it a once over, a walk over. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some footballs, I'm seeing some, you know, a little bit of scuffing, nothing major. Like there's a blister, you ever seen what a blister looks like on a roof? I think I know the, I kind of can tell a blister, I think. You know, this is a dilemma you get into because a lot of people that aren't uh, knowledgeable in hail damage. Yeah. Will look at ones like this and say, oh yeah, that's clean worthy, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Right? Well, and then people are saying that's why they've got a 50% a buy ratio with insurance adjusters because an adjuster is going to get up on top of this roof and look at it and be like, that's a blister. So what you're just not at? wasting your time. No. But you're explaining to the homeowner and you're keeping that homeowner for life that says, hey, here's my card. Give me a call next time. Like, I, yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot on here. I think you did one us on the garage as well. Are we going to pop up okay. the garage real quick? Okay. Again. All right, here's your hail hit. All right, I'm going to show you a hail hit now. Okay. You see that? 
Yes. That's your hail hit. Now put your thumb inside of that. See how it's in the middle of the mat? Nope. Right there. See how soft that is when you push down. Okay. Do you feel the difference between that and then just go anywhere else on a normal Yes. Field? I think I do, yep. Just go anywhere else. Because it has give to it. Yep, it has some give to it. You see how those granules are embedded into that mat of that shingle? Yep. So, so they, they got, they got pushed down. They got pushed. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that, that's an actual hail hit. Now your insurance company needs five to seven of those in a 10 foot by 10 foot area. Yep. How did you identify that? Just by like the slight miscoloring and a circle shape? You're starting to see the, the darker black mat. Mm -hmm. So you exposed the mat and it flaked off the loose granules. So those granules flaked off and that's your, your mat that's showing right there. Okay. Now, people get that misconception, oh, that's gonna leak right away. No, that's your mat is your protection, okay? It's not gonna leak, but that identifies hail for you. So now you know what you're looking for is hail. You see that? There's a difference between that and then you look at the blister up here where it actually, basically blisters out that granule so it's just basically fiberglass where I don't even know. See there. See how there's no granules embedded in that? Yeah. See how it's flaked out? Yeah. There's your difference. Gotcha. Right, let's go down and then let's go look at the garage for them. And... All right. So what I'm getting at is one hail hit's not going to prove an entire... Yeah. Yeah, but I totally understand. But by giving that information and being really transparent about it, you're creating trust. Can I hand this down to you? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and I'm just narrating this a little bit for folks watching the live. We are going to be doing a longer video soon on, uh, on youtube.com slash hook agency with a lot of this day, a lot of really good sales tips um, that I think you guys are going to want to watch. So that's coming out soon. And the face up there is the aluminum face up. And you can tell which stress in the hips to in on because you don't see any dents in the face up there right now. So you don't came in from the other side. Yeah.